harassment. One of the tech tools he used is a thing called key logging, a sneaky, dangerous bit of software. Paul Ayatollah. Ayatollah is with Nerds for Hire, a mobile tech support company in Toronto, and he joins us now. So first of all, Paul, tell us a little bit about exactly what is key logging. Well, key logging is a piece of software that will sit on your computer and will keep track of everything you click on, everything you type, every website you visit, pretty much all your activity on the computer. And then periodically, it'll comprise these into reports and email them off or send them off to whoever infected your computer in the first place. Can you give us some examples of the kind of information it can divulge? Well, I mean, basically, if you were to go to your banking website, type in your password, or your credit card number, and all that information, that's the exact kind of information key loggers are looking for. And how common is it right now? Key logging is not very common. Key logging is normally used for legitimate purposes to, let's say, keep an eye on prisoners, how they're using computers. Unfortunately, some people are using it for malicious purposes to try to break into your computer or to get hold of information that they really have no business having uh, a hold of. Is it easy to get your hands on software like this? Well, see, there's lots of key logging software out there, and as I said, a lot of them are legitimate. There are quite a few you can get that you can install on your kids' computers to make sure that they're not visiting certain types of websites, or if they're chatting a lot online, you can make sure they're not chatting with someone who may say that that they're 15 years old and they're in fact 30. So there's a lot of legitimate uses for it, but unfortunately, as I said, some people are using them to get hold of information that they have no business having. How difficult is it to install? It's not difficult to install if you're physically at the computer. It's very simple. It's very, very difficult to do over the internet as long as you have an antivirus and firewall and proper equipment securing your computer. And can you have it on your computer without realizing it? Unfortunately, that's essentially the way they're designed. If you have a key logging program on your computer, they're one of the hardest things to determine that it's actually running. Uh, they leave no indication that they're there, only really the person who put it on knows it's there. Could you see corporations installing something like this to keep track of what employees are doing? Well, they, that's been done for a long time. Like, for instance, a lot of government institutions, basically, it's standard contract. They will tell you when you sit down, there's a key logger on this computer. Anything you do from the time you're working for us will be monitored and we will check through it every once in a while to make sure you're doing your job. Are there any kind of privacy concerns or, or legal issues surrounding key logging? Well, basically, in a corporate environment, the person should know ahead of time before they sit down that everything they do is going to be monitored and somebody's going to be checking up on them. On basically a personal level, it's just like you said, like an invasion of privacy. Uh, it's no different than, you know, peering through somebody's window or spying on somebody. It's the exact same thing. So if you were to balance them out, you were mentioning some of the good things that it's used for, some of the bad things that it's used for. Yeah. Uh, at the end of it, what, how does it come out? Is this a good piece of software or a bad piece of software more often than not? It's, it's really hard to say. It's basically it's a tool. It's really more how it's used. I mean, for a parent who's protecting their children, I'm sure they would really love it for, you know, that the unfortunate person in the story who had her life kind of turned upside down, I'm sure she's not a big fan of it. Um, normally, basically, I would say it's really just for kind of spying on people or things where you want a secure environment, you really want to know what's going on with your machines, that's where you use a keylogger. Do you expect this software to become more and more popular in the future? Uh, it's, that's kind of hard to say. There's so many different types of spyware and ways that people get into your computer, and it wouldn't surprise me, with so many people putting in so many usernames and passwords and forms online into web pages, it wouldn't surprise me if it becomes more popular. Is there any way to create some kind of firewall to prevent yourself from, from having someone put this onto your computer? Basically, all you can do is have an updated firewall, uh, an updated antivirus, and that's really some of the best things you can do. The only other thing you can do is have anti-spyware programs uh, that will check your computer regularly for any kind of malware or spyware that shouldn't be in there in the first place. All right, Paul, thanks very much for coming You're and welcome. talking about this. Well, if you have money piling up in that penny jar on top of your fridge, here's an idea. You could buy one of these, your own personal sub. This is the old retired HMCA.